During the last Great Depression of the 1930s, uh, a lot of families were blown apart because of debt. They didn't have a place that was free and clear, and many had to hit the road and uh, look for other other places. They were tossed to the curb, if you will. And that always kind of bothered me. I, I wanted to talk about that for a moment. If you're fortunate enough to have free and clear property out of your family, uh, it doesn't take that much effort to set it up so that if family and friends have to come in or uh, seriously field workers to help you with your garden and your animals, um, to have it set up so that uh, temporary housing can be brought in. I wouldn't be worrying about uh, housing regulations and all of that. I think everything, if something happened along these lines, all of that restraint will be removed. Um, let me show you how easy it is to set something like this up. The first thing to do is to tee into your sewer, your septic line, and just cap it. It's not like you need a travel trailer, you know, tucked in a corner. This is just so that if somebody has to come, it's available. And it, it's quick too, by the way. All you do is take the top off, stick the uh, sewer hose into it, and they're ready to roll. If you have a field way out in the middle of nowhere, um, it may not be a bad idea to put in a, a septic tank system uh, just to have it ready to go. As you can see, it just requires a uh, septic tank and a leach field. This is in your backyard. Go ahead and put a, a T in for a water spigot and a white garden hose, which is a, a potable it's a drinking water hose, and they have uh, fresh water available. If it's out in the middle of a field uh, and the water level is high enough, they could also just uh, sink a shallow well and they would have a water source. As far as electrical needs, if it's behind your house, you could always run a electrical line out to the uh, spot. But, you know, if it's out in that field like we were just talking about, the battery bank and the solar panel, and it's not going to cost you anything other than the upfront money and uh, no recurring electrical fees. For heat, outside lighting, and the stove, they could always use kerosene. In the background, you'll see I have a kerosene heater, a kerosene lantern, and a kerosene stove uh, for refrigeration to keep the electrical use down, uh, ice if it's available, if not, uh, no refrigeration. By simply washing clothes by hand and hanging them on a clothesline, uh, everybody has clean clothes. The living accommodations really don't have to be that large because most activity is going to be done outside. With a little pre-planning, life doesn't have to be that bad and go on just, just fine. I'll catch you on the next one.